Good day, friends, and welcome back to another day of computers. I've got a new lesson for you. We are going to call this one Pictures Three Ways. Start by opening the new tab because that gives you the Google Apps button, and then I want you to create a brand new Google Doc. As always, the first thing I want you to do is to change the name, and we're going to name this one Picks Three Ways, and I want you to put your initials after it. My initials are MDH, so I'm going to save that. And then on the next line, I want you to type the title, Things I Like. We're going to do something different this time. We are going to select it, and we are going to use the styles, and I want you to give it a title style. Notice that I already made it size 26 in one nifty step. And then I want you to switch to the center align choice. Now with you watching my video, you will have your document on half the screen. And notice when you do that, you can't see the center align. What you do is click these three dots and then it lets you see the rest of the tools. So there is the center align like I show you. Then I'd like you to also pick a cool font that stands out. And then reviewing things we did the other day, I want you to also choose a text color that is awesome. I'm going to pick one of the blues. I'm going to press enter and notice it already switched to normal text instead of the title. That is exactly the way I want it to work. We're going to add things I like in a nifty table. So look under your insert and go to table. And I need you to make this time a three column by four row table. We are going to add pictures in these way in these boxes three different ways. The first one is called URL. The second one is with search. And then the last one is going to be called upload. Select them. And then because they are headings, let's center them. Notice I have shrunk my screen so it is more like yours is because you're watching these movies. And there's the down arrow so I can align them center. I am also going to use bold. I'm going to change them to a font size of 14 so they show up even better. And then last but not least, I'm going to grab this area. I'm going to click on the little dots for the more with that area selected. That is super important. And find the background color. And I want to make it a light background color. So use anything on the top two rows. I'm going to do this bluish again. And now I've got a real nifty area for my items to go in. And now my table looks super sharp and I'm ready to insert pictures. Let's learn how to insert a picture with a URL. It is simple. You click insert image and we are going to find the URL choice. So there is a place to paste a URL. So here's how you find a URL. Start a brand new tab. It should take you right to Google. And then in the first box, type something you think is super cool. I am a huge fan of the Lions, so I'm going to type Lions and press Enter. I want to switch from all things to images. Now it shows a lot of Lions, but I want to find a Detroit Lion. When you see the picture you like, click on it. Do not use the small picture. On the big picture, right click it and then look through the list of choices and find copy image address. That is the URL. Real quickly, URL means uniform recess locator, which just says the address of the cool thing you're looking for. So I'm going to go back to my picks three ways and I'm going to right click and paste that URL in. If the picture shows up, it was an okay picture to use and you can hit insert. If the picture doesn't error, you just need to delete it and find a different one. So you need to do this process three times, finding two more images that you want to put in the URL box. When you've completed your URL choices, 
you can continue with the search trick. The search trick works like this. Insert image, and this time we're going to search from the web. Notice it brings up a little box, and this time you can pick something else you think is cool. I am going to add sailboats because I enjoy sailing. And when you find an image that you think is nifty, this looks a little bit like the sailboat that I have at my mother-in-law's, and you can simply insert it that easily in the box. When your items show up, if they are large, make sure you shrink them so they fit in this nice little area. Use that nifty search technique three times to add three more cool things with that technique. And then move on to the upload trick. The last technique I want you to master uses the images again. So go back to your Google search, go up to the top, and search for something else that you think is cool. You can pick anything that you think is cool that is school appropriate. I like spare ribs. Once again, click on the small picture. Find the large picture. Right-click on it, and this time we're going to save the image as. When you save it, it'll ask where you want to put it. I'm going to just put mine in the Downloads folder. Check the name and hit Save. Return to our amazing document. And then in the Upload box, we are going to hit Insert Image. And we are going to choose Upload from Computer. You need to switch to your Downloads folder. And then in Downloads, find the one that you just got. Once you've got all of your pictures added, I want you to go below the table, press enter, and I want you to find the bulleted list and add a bulleted list. If you want to use the fancy arrows to pick a cool bulleted list, you may. But I want you to simply describe the three techniques down below. For instance, URL, where we right click and copy the image address and then paste it using the insert URL. Notice when you press enter it automatically gives you the next bullet. Search where you choose insert then image. Then search the web and simply find the one you think is awesome. And then the upload trick where you find the image using Google click it once to view the real image and then right click and choose save image as to put it on your computer. When you've completed something similar to that, press enter, delete the last star, press enter again, and then type this sentence, my favorite technique, the three is, and describe which one you like the most and tell me why. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so with your project all filled out, making sure you've got your nine pictures and you've added your favorite technique, I want you to switch your zoom to 75% so that it all fits. I need you to click on Nimbus, which we installed before, and do the selected area, and I need your entire project squoze in the box. With that done, hit the save button. It saves to your downloads. You can change the name or keep the name. I don't care. With that screenshot completed, go back to your classwork. So if you were in the stream, switch to classwork. Find the Picks Three Ways lesson. Click View Assignment. Remember the first time you click it, it does not show you the add file. So just go back to your computer's class. Go back to your classwork. View that assignment a second time, and you can finally add the file from your downloads by clicking the downloads choice if it didn't pop up, and it is right there. Click upload, and when it gives you a chance, double check that you got the red corner proving that you did an image, and turn it in. That, my friends, is how you do picks three ways. 
Friends, if you like this movie, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Once again, if you're at home, you can also use your phone to add a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.